All right, Jason here from septictank.co.uk and in this video, I'm gonna explain the difference between a drainage field and a soak away. Because many people are confused because these words are used interchangeably on the internet and it's very confusing. So is a septic tank connected to a drainage field or a soak away? Well, all the rules and regulations changed on the 1st of January, 2020. And so the correct terminology now is a septic tank is connected to a drainage field and a soak away is connected to rainwater, to your gutters, all right? Or rainwater soak away, that's how it is now. But just to avoid confusion, let me show you how the words have been used and blurred and merged over the years. So drainage field, so what's the shape of a drainage field today? Well, typically, most um, um, uh, installers use drainage field crates. And so they, they are rectangular crates, and this is a side view of them. So let's say, for example, your hole had four drainage field crates in, uh, width-wise, and then you went too deep, all right? So that's typically the shape of a drainage field for a septic tank today. <laughs> What would have been the shape of a soak away in the past connected to a septic tank, right? Well, it would have been something like this. It would have been a soak away designed in the shape of a herringbone system. So traditionally, they used to connect these kind of soak aways to a septic tank. So now they'd only use that kind of soak away for rainwater. So what about the size? All right, well, these are quite small holes, believe it or not, because the, with these drainage field crates, a liquid is um, contained within the crates. So if we look at that width-wise, they are 0.5 meters. So the crate, drainage field crates themselves are 0.5 meters um, wide, and they are one meter long. So in this instance, if they're four wide, it's going to be one, two meters, right? Two meters wide by, uh, so you've got two on, uh, on top of each other by one meter wide, so uh, by one meter long. So there you go. So you can see they're quite small holes, aren't they? Now with the old soak away shape of the herringbone systems, right? The old traditional ones, man alive. <sighs> It, they're crazy, right? They could have been the size, right? They can go up to the size of a football field because the deeper they go, the bigger and wider and deeper they have to be, right? So, you know, sky's the limit on those kind of things. So I'm not kidding you, right? Most of the um, herringbone systems that are installed for three to four, five to six, seven to eight bedroom house, it just wipe out your garden. All right, so that's the difference in size between the two. So how long does it take to install a drainage field with um, drainage field crates? Well, typically it would take you Oh, man alive. <laughs> I mean, depth-wise, I haven't even told you how, how deep they are. I should have told you how deep they are. These crates are um, uh, 400 mil deep. 400 mil. All right. So in many cases, you can just have a single kind of level. I've just stacked them up there to, to, for illustrative purposes. But typically, right, um, you're looking about 400 mil. How long does it take to flip and dig a 400 mil hole? Let's say an hour. All right, look, let me be conservative here. I'll put one to two hours. There you go. That's the time it takes to install drainage field crates. So what kind of time frame are you looking in the old traditional way of putting a herringbone system in? Oh, man, alive. They can take anywhere from like four to seven days. To install that kind of system. Why do I say that? Well, let's go on to cost now, right? And let's start with this, right? So with the old traditional herringbone soakaways, right? You've got to buy all the pipes, those orange pipes with, with slits on the bottom of them, right? You've got to buy oh, 13, 20, 30 ton of shingle, right? A 45 pound a ton. So let me just add that up, right? In um, 
cost-wise for the shingle. So let's say, for argument's sake, 25 tonne times 45. So you're looking at about 1,200 quid just for the shingle alone, right? With the pipes, with the digger, with the, um, the labour, flipping heck, you're looking at anywhere, right? From like, man alive, well, let's put it, let's put it a bit clearer here for you. You're looking at anywhere from minimum of two to five thousand quid if you wanted to do it the old way which you can't anymore but i'm just explaining the difference between the two cost wise for drainage field crates same kind of property you're probably looking at about eight nine nine so you can see why i'm biased right <laughs> you can see why i prefer the modern way of doing things so drainage field today when you hear the word drainage field it pertains specifically to um uh, the drainage field for a septic tank soak away now means for rainwater soak aways you cannot use a soak away for a drainage field and you cannot use a drainage field for a soak away that's how it is now and I'm glad it's worked out that way because the old way of doing things cost a lot of money it took a lot of time and it just was massive right the new way of doing things right means that they, it's easy to install it doesn't take long to do it and it saves you what flipping heck three four five thousand quid in the process so listen i hope that's made that a bit clearer now <laughs> the difference between a drainage field and a soakway so listen thank you for watching this video if you'd like to see more free videos then please just go to septictank.co.uk or go on to my youtube channel septic tank tv and if you subscribe, right, if you subscribe to my Septic Tank TV channel, you'll be in with a chance to win a free drainage field crate kit. So listen, you stay safe, you take care, and I'll speak to you soon. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.